Have you ever worked at a place that brought in a manager, consultant, or coworker, and they thought that within a week or two they could solve all the problems at your shop? They hit the ground sprinting, and before you know it, they fall flat on their face. While some problems may be easy to identify symptomatically, the root cause can be a lot harder to find and fix sometimes. One of my favorite parts of working in manufacturing has always been continuous improvement. You study a process, whether it's purchasing, tooling, programming, machining, documentation, quality, and you identify opportunities to become more efficient. Then you implement those ideas and over time monitor the effectiveness of your improvements. In Lean Six Sigma, this process is known by the anagram DMAIC, which stands for define, measure, analyze, improve, and control. Because I'm passionate about efficiency, I've been a little overzealous at times in my past when it came to making changes to a process. There have even been times where I took a job just because I knew I could make a positive impact in very little time. Improving efficiency is just something that's fun for me. Most of the time when you start a job, there's already people there who've been trying to fix the things that are broken for a long time. Nobody likes it when some noob rushes in and thinks they can do in a few weeks what you've been struggling to do for six months. I've been in that position before and it can really make you resent the new guy that thinks he's so special. So in order to make sure that I'm never that guy, I came up with a process that I use everywhere I go, make sure that I take my time and don't rush into anything until I have a thorough understanding of everything that feeds into an issue with the process. I use an anagram to help me keep it simple. LASER. This stands for listen, analyze, strategize, execute, and repeat. The first part of this process is the most important, and it can take a few months or more depending on the specific culture of the place where you work. If you've just started working for a company, just listen to everyone. Listen to your coworkers, your boss, your boss's boss, and start filing away the things that they say that they wish were better or they wish were easier. And start listening to yourself too. Anytime you notice that you're wasting a lot of time looking for information or looking for tools or anytime you say, God, I wish this was easier, this is something that most likely can be improved later. Most of the time, you won't be the first person to have noticed that this process is not efficient. But as the new guy, your job isn't to fix everything. It's to learn how to do your job and prove yourself as much as possible and later maybe people will be willing to listen to your ideas. You may also find that over the course of several months, things that you thought were issues really aren't. Maybe you just didn't know where to find the information that you needed. Once you have a decent sized running list of issues that are negatively affecting productivity and have a solid understanding of the processes that are contributing, it's time to move on to the second phase, analyzing the issues. Start with either an issue that's causing huge problems and can be attacked cheaply, or something that can be fixed with very little effort. Make sure this is something within your realm of influence. For example, as a programmer, you aren't likely to succeed in fixing the quality department's issues. But as a programmer, you may notice that there isn't a very good tool list that you can pull from when writing new programs, and you waste a lot of time going out to the shop to find a tool or end up buying tools that the shop may already have. Once you've analyzed an issue and you think you can fix it easily, it's time to strategize. Come up with a way to make this problem a thing of the past. In the example I just mentioned, maybe you can inventory the tooling and put together a tool list to use yourself and make yourself a lot faster. Then, the next time you hear someone else complain about having to search for tools, you can offer to share it with them. This is the execute phase. In the beginning, it's important to look for things that will make you faster, but that could also help others on the team down the road. Worst case scenario, they don't want your help, and you will continue to be faster than them. Best case scenario, they use it too, and the whole team gets faster, and then they can add their input to it as well, adding to the increase in efficiency. When a team attacks a problem with a common goal, sometimes the results can be really surprising. I was once part of a team that reduced scrap in the shop by $225,000 per year just by analyzing scrap from previous years and attacking the root causes. Finally, it's time to repeat the whole process. Move on to the next thing that you can improve. Fixing one thing is great, but when you repeat this process over and over successfully, you'll start to gain a reputation as being a problem solver. Titan has talked about this before as well. Solving the boss's problems are what end up making you more money and getting you promotions. Care about what your boss cares about. If you make it a point to make you and your team more efficient, you become more valuable than the guy next to you that just complains about problems but never tries to fix them. In my experience, when you start taking it upon yourself to make improvements, or at the very least come up with ideas for improvements, the people around you will start to be inspired to do the same. And once the entire team is engaged and looking for opportunities to get better, you become an unstoppable force of efficiency. One team, one dream. Thanks for listening, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.